Voyager spacecraft recorded a strange sound outside the solar system. After listening, I felt something like this. After listening to this, only one thought will come in your mind that how did Voyager hear this sound outside the solar system, whereas we cannot hear the sound in space? So friends, you are absolutely right. Actually, there is no atmosphere in space, so we cannot hear sound. Any sound can reach us only when there is some medium for it to pass through. The Earth's atmosphere acts as a medium that allows us to hear sounds. However, as we climb into the atmosphere, the sound gradually fades away, and after reaching a certain altitude, our ears stop hearing anything at all. To give you an idea, space starts about 100 kilometers above the Earth's surface. But now the question arises that if there is no medium in space, then how do scientists record the sounds of the universe? Scientists can even capture the sounds of galaxies millions of kilometers away, recording sounds from Jupiter, Saturn, and even beyond the solar system. In today's video, we will play real sounds from all the planets recorded by various space probes. You are watching Cosmic Discovery. Friends, space is absolutely empty, where there is no medium for the transmission of sound. However, space waves can travel there, because they require no medium to travel, and those waves can be easily converted into sound to hear. The best example of this is radio waves. Imagine that you are sitting inside a car and you do not hear any sound in there. But as soon as you turn on your radio, your car stereo converts those radio waves into sound and those radio waves are then heard as sound in your radio. Similarly, in missions sent to space, scientists already fit sensors inside our spacecraft. These sensors record radio and plasma waves as they travel through empty space. When scientists convert these waves into sounds, we start hearing the original sounds coming from space. First, let's listen to the sounds of the planets in our solar system. Friends, Venus used to be similar to Earth, but today it is like an open fire, extremely hot. About 40 years ago, Russia launched several missions to explore the planet Venus. About 10 missions landed on the surface of Venus. These space probes sent back scientists the first pictures and sounds of Venus. Now, what you are about to hear is the sound of the wind on the surface of Venus. And this sound is from the time when the probe was landing. And this sound is from the time when the camera lens was coming out. And this sound is from the time when the probe was drilling in the ground of Venus. Friends, these sounds are from a place where you can't survive even a few seconds, and the spacecraft could only survive there for 57 minutes before melting due to extreme temperatures. Because the temperature there was 465 degrees, and the atmospheric pressure is equal to 94 atmospheres of the Earth. We can't even think of surviving there in such conditions. Now let's talk about the barren world in our solar system, where scientists are even discussing the possibility of establishing life. We're talking about the planet Mars. Mars has a very thin atmosphere, which might make the sound on Mars sound a bit muted to us. Let's listen to the sound of the air on Mars. Now the next sound you're about to hear is recorded while a rover is driving on the surface of Mars. This sound is coming because the rover's wheels are made of metal. And now, the next sound you're hearing is the sound of ingenuity. A small helicopter-like robot on Mars. But the interesting thing is that due to the thin atmosphere of the Mars planet, if a person is standing right next to you and speaking, it would sound as if they are speaking from about 60 meters away. Friends, in 2005, NASA's Huygens probe landed on Titan, one of Saturn's moons, which is bigger than our planet Mercury and is considered the second largest moon in the solar system. 
Due to its distance from the sun, Titan experiences extreme cold, with temperatures hovering around minus 179 degrees Celsius. When scientists did research here, they found that even if there was water, it would freeze at this temperature. However, the surprising thing is that there are rivers on Titan, but these rivers consist of methane. While the Huygens probe was landing, it recorded the sound of the atmosphere on Titan. Jupiter Magnetic Field Friends, scientists had sent a mission named Juno near the planet Jupiter. The spacecraft headed straight into Jupiter's magnetic field and came incredibly close. Just to give you an idea, Jupiter's magnetic field is much larger than Earth's. If we were to see Jupiter's magnetic field as visible, it could be twice the size of the full moon as seen from Earth. In 1997, the Juno spacecraft recorded a large number of bursts caused by the interaction of the solar wind with Jupiter's magnetic field. When scientists converted these recordings into sound, they heard something like this. Real sound of Saturn. In 1997, NASA sent a spacecraft to Saturn named Cassini, primarily for studying Saturn and its moons. It ventured near Saturn and recorded some sounds. Upon listening, it feels like there's a strong wind blowing. Actually, this audio is the radio waves of the auroras occurring in the polar regions of Saturn. Such events are also observed on Earth several times. In 2006, the Cassini spacecraft recorded another audio from Saturn. Saturn lightning strike audio. This sound is quite strange to hear. Can you guess what this sound is? Let me tell you, it's the sound of lightning strikes in Saturn's atmosphere. Yes, even in the atmosphere of Saturn, there are events happening including lightning strikes, sound from outside the solar system. Friends, in 1977, the Voyager 1 spacecraft was launched, embarking on a remarkable 47-year-long journey studying space. It holds the record for the human-made spacecraft farthest from Earth, currently at a distance of 20 billion kilometers. During its journey, Voyager 1 reached the heliosphere's endpoint, known as the heliopause, which is the boundary of the Sun's magnetic field. Voyager 1 recorded some audio beyond the solar system. Now, what's astonishing about this audio is that it was recorded over seven months but compressed into a 12-second audio clip for us to hear it more conveniently. Well, friends, although the Cassini spacecraft was primarily designed for Saturn, it managed to capture a spooky sound from Jupiter during its journey, which you can listen to. Well, friends, although the Cassini spacecraft was primarily designed for Saturn, it managed to capture a spooky sound from Jupiter during its journey, which you can listen to. In 2021, a mission was scheduled to study Jupiter, and as the spacecraft passed by Ganymede, Jupiter's moon, it recorded some strange audio. Let's listen. Now, friends, after exploring the sounds inside and outside our solar system, let us take you billions of kilometers away from our Earth. Once upon a time, scientists using the Chandra X-ray Observatory were studying the Perseus Cluster. This cluster is, in essence, a structure made up of galaxies. During this study, 
the telescope detected a wave that resembled waves formed in water. Later scientists came to know that this wave was actually a sound coming from a supermassive black hole. When a black hole pulls in an object from outside the universe, some matter is ejected outwards. This emission causes waves to be released, and when scientists converted these waves into sound, it sounded something like this. Interestingly, even though there is no medium for sound to travel through space, galaxies in the universe are still surrounded by small amounts of flowing gas. The massive black holes in these galaxies create large waves through this gas, producing low-frequency sound. This means that even if we were standing near a black hole, we would not be able to hear this frequency. To hear this sound, scientists converted this ultra-low note into a heartbeat 144 quadrillion and 288 quadrillion times higher notes. Then this sound could be heard. Now let me tell you about another interesting incident when scientists caught a radio signal coming from billions of light years away from Earth. This signal was coming from a galaxy. The strange thing was that scientists detected this signal for only a few milliseconds, about three seconds, and recorded this sound which was 1,000 times louder than normal. The sound sounded like this. One researcher described it in his study, saying that every aspect of this signal sounds like boom, 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 similar to a heartbeat. This was the first signal of its kind that could be heard so clearly scientists believe this signal may be coming from a neutron star or pulsar. Neutron stars rotate rapidly. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this sound. However, it is quite shocking that such a sound-producing object could potentially destroy our entire Earth. Friends, of all the sounds you have heard, do any of these recordings sound like any earthly noise to you? Please share your thoughts in the comments, and also let us know what you would like to see covered next.